Good week of practice. A um, little uh, chillier out there today. So it was great to be outside and get a really good practice in with, with the weather conditions. And so that's part of this time of year. And uh, I thought our guys have had great focus and really good work in both the weight room and, in, and on the practice field and the meeting room. So uh, Michael did practice this week, so it will be a game time decision for him. But uh, um, I think the rest of the guys are you know, pretty good shape. You said did. 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 Was it practicing in the cold weather, I guess, just about acclimatization, knowing what's yeah. coming this weekend, and then just generally that it's not getting warmer? Yeah, I just think it's just moving forward, just kind of realizing what time of year it is and and uh, it, basically the um, reality that you're going to have some cold weather games and it could be even raining a little bit or even snowing this time of year. So uh, you know, it's a big time football, so you've got to be ready for it. I just like to, to be in it. Um, we try to balance that out as best we can. Um, because you just feel like that the, there's a balance of getting quality reps, but also realizing, hey, you know, if you got to plan it, you got to build practice. And that's our that's our philosophy. You know, as the um, this team has been doing so well, efficient passing the football, but as the elements turn, mm -hmm. how important is it going to be to kind yeah. of get that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you have to just uh, deal with them. You know, and that's part of um, you know being able to adapt to this this part of the country. And you know, a lot of our guys have goals and dreams of playing on on Sunday as well. So he's going to be playing in these, these conditions in the NFL. So that's part of uh, just being an elite player is, is adapting to them and, and adjusting and knowing how to dress, you know, and not putting too much stuff on and, and not doing too little. I think that's just a balance there as well. But being able to catch the football when it's raining or sleeting or snowing or whatever and protecting it, and that obviously becomes a variable. It's like any, any, any level, it's all the same with that. But uh, just got to get used to it and it becomes a – you, be, you want it to be a non-issue. That's, that's all key. Is that you just you just do what you do, and and even the wind, the wind can be a variable this time of year as well. So it's just part of uh, understanding that, and, and special teams as well. And so handling you know, punts and snapping punts, and and uh, all those things that go along with handling football. And so you just want to get get into it as much as you can to get a lot of reps. Earlier in the season, we talked about the immaturity of this team somewhat. How do you pr make sure that you guys going into a game that can be considered a trap game mm -hmm. uh, for Indiana that they have that focus that they need? Well, you know, we've uh, talked about it, you know, um, from the beginning of the week. But I think the biggest thing is just when you, when you think of the big picture of how we approach each week, and that to me is what we've tried to stick with. And, and uh, just trying to get these guys to understand that it truly is, you know, it's the biggest game of the season because it's the next one. And, and that, that mindset, that how you prepare, um, and don't get caught up in the, the outside noise, you know, how people start, you know, talking about things. And, and uh, I just think that you have to, you know, you do grow as a team. You know these guys that are that are freshmen right now. They're, they're you know experienced freshmen. You know they've been playing in the, in the sophomores. They're even though that's their second year here now. They've got almost a whole another season you know um, under their belt as well. So that that maturity needs to start showing up. You know and uh, then you still count on your older guys to, to help the younger guys understand how you handle this time of the year and how you stay focused and locked in and both by example and by verbally you know challenging guys and and making sure their room is right. So I, I just think it's just a whole team effort as coaches and as, as, as the players and the older guys to, to lead the younger ones to, to understand how you prepare and play, you know, in these environments and then also in these with these expectations as they keep growing. Rumors have popped up kind of here and there for the last few months. You always wear black on game day. Will anybody be joining you wearing <laughs> black on game day coming out of the locker room? Oh, I don't think so. No, no. That's, you talking about uniforms? Yeah. Oh, no, that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually a high school coach when that situation occurred here in the past, and uh, I, I remember it pretty vividly, so I don't see that ever happening. <laughs> our, our colors are cream and cream. <laughs> now bringing back the, the evil oval. No, no, no I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> In terms of injuries, uh, Simon, has he practiced this week? Is he? Yeah, he's been good, you know, mm -hmm. so just uh, I think whatever it was, you know, it just kind of, um, and my, my whole thing with him and the whole deal is we're always, we're going to take care of our guys, you know, when it was any question, he wasn't feeling right and didn't feel good, and I'm just like, hey, you know, just next man up, you know, we got guys that are ready to roll, and so I uh, always want to you know, do what's best for our players. Mm -hmm. The element of playing at night, what, what kind of a dynamic does that add to the game? I, I t our kids love it. You know, they were so excited, you know, when we got that the news. And, and uh, it just has a different feel, you know. And, uh, you know, for me, being a, a, a former high school coach, you know, it's Friday night football. And just kind of that's, that's when you always played. And it kind of was weird. When I first started coaching college, it was weird playing during the day. 
I just wasn't used to that, you know. So, but, uh, so yeah, I just think the kids love it, and it's a great environment, and uh, just kind of has a little bit extra juice to the to the event for sure. So we're excited. That's why we just really look forward to our fans embracing it and coming out and supporting us and our students, and and uh, just want everybody to come and and uh, just cheer on the Hoosiers and, and give everything they got to help our team, you know, continue to do something special. From a coaching standpoint, I know you, it doesn't make coaching any easier, but sitting here at six and two versus other years where not that record was not, how much does that make it easier, a little less pressure on the staff? Well, I think first of all, you know, um, just the whole idea of getting to that level of wins to be able to get you're now you're in a bowl game. Now you got to figure out which one you're going to go to. So just having that taken off the table is it is it's a, it's a good feeling. It kind of it's uh, um, you know it, it does make a difference. You know. And, and now, you know, then all the focus is, okay, let's just everything and just kind of takes the pressure away in a lot of ways and, and just lets us just go be our very best. You know, I just thought the whole week of practice was just, it was very, very focused, but the, the guys just, the confidence is growing. You know, they're having fun even today. And it's, the weather was kind of not very nice out there. And they were just, I mean, just having fun together, enjoying each other and, and just really feeding off the energy of, of the momentum that's being created in our program and, and how they're playing. And, and so uh, it just makes it, uh, yeah, it really, it's a lot different feel than it was a year ago. I guess how are they having fun outside when it's so cold? That's no, right. it's just being together. I mean, just running around and being, uh, you know, kids. They're not, they're not grown ups yet, you know, so, but it's still a game and, and uh, they're not just enjoying, you know, being out there and, and uh, with each other and the energy and, and I mean, you can tell when a guy, you know, is really kind of like dreading it or not, but now these guys, it was a whole group effort. It was that way the whole time and coaches as well, and they, they follow our lead, but, but it's just a different hop in their step when, uh, when things are going the way they are right now. Coach, we can talk about the environment, um, you know, with weather, with it being the night, and I know you said in your radio show that, you know, these are the Big Ten West champions that yeah, are coming in. Right. Does this provide kind of a, a, an environment that you see could be beneficial later in the season, like even in the bowl game, you know, when yeah, I mean, you the postseason thing? The thing about it is you put yourself in this position, you know, and, and you want to you wanna be relevant in November. You want to be um, in, in games that matter and that people are talking about. And, and that's where now we're, we're putting ourselves in those positions, and then that's where you want to embrace that. You want to you be at your best at these times. You want to keep getting better as a football team. You want to just absolutely – you know, be a, be a team that at this time of year, you know, is, is clicking on all cylinders and all three phases are, are playing well. And so that's what you work for. And, and, uh, and there's things happen and you got to deal with them and adjust, you know, based off of injuries and things that happen. And we've been through all that in the past and we've been through that even this year. And so you, know, you just learn to kind of handle all that. But I do think that, that uh, you know, as this team matures and grows and, and develops a, a, uh, an expectation for us being in these, these situations. This is what we want, you know, and our guys have, have worked hard for this, and, and uh, now you got to go out and take advantage of it, you know, and, and not just, you know, get excited about it and then let it slip by. by. That's why we want to be, we want to play our best football this Saturday night against, as you said, it's the truth. And I've said it every time I talk about it, they're the defending Big Ten West champs. That's who we're playing on Saturday night. So it's going to be a very, very physical, very tough, hard fought game. Is anybody else a game time decision? Just Michael? No, I think uh, I think that's it. So that's something we pretty much have, have uh, put out there. Who's who's in and out this time of the year? All right. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks coach.